you were saying before the game, talking about Harry Maguire. Are, are you optimistic Harry's got a chance um, for the Europa League final or even a league game before that, possibly? Um, uh, the good news was it, it, it wasn't broken. So then uh, there was no fracture. So, But the ligament injury, of course, is serious as well. So uh, if I'm very positive, uh, that's maybe stretching it. I'm hopeful. Uh, he might be ready for it, and um, not. I don't think he'll play in the league again uh, before. Uh, but we'll do everything we can to get him ready for the for the uh, the, the final. Rob Dawson, uh, yeah, just on on Harry, he's obviously going to be um, desperate to play in that Europa League final, but also he's got the Euros as well in the summer. How do you manage that sort of club and, and country thing? It, if he wants to, is it is it up to him whether he's fit enough to play that final, or do you have to sort of look after him long term? It's long term, and uh, if if he's fit, he'll play for us. If he's uh, if he's not, he won't. Uh, but as I said, we're hopeful that he, he's ready. And then, if he's ready for us, he'll probably be, be ready for the Euros. That's uh, Norway's not in the Euros, so I'm not really that concerned. Simon Peach, Ali, you, you said you weren't going to be able to go full throttle tonight due to the obvious time time issues. Are you going to go full throttle on Thursday, make another set of sweeping changes, and really go for Liverpool? Well, there'll be changes, of course, because uh, but many of the, the players that played tonight um, did really well, so they're in contention as well. So, and it's it's about managing the squad now, um, building momentum, building confidence, coming, in, getting to the, making sure we get enough points to get second, and then uh, going into the final confidence. Last two in this section. The first one for Simon Stone, and we'll finish with Laurie Woodwell. Hi, Oli. Um, obviously, the Cavani deal was announced yesterday. Um, what will he bring to you, firstly, over the next two or three weeks, but next season as well? What do you expect from him? Well, I think we've seen the last few months what we can expect and what we, uh, we've uh, wanted from him. Um, this season or next season, he'll come ready. He will be fit when it comes pre-season. Um, this year he, he had seven months of non-football to catch up and that's not easy. And he's had a couple of niggles because of that. So, um, just the same. Uh, professionality. Uh, he comes in every day, does everything right. The boys will look, look for, look at him. Uh, he gives us a number nine position. Uh, I don't know how many games we'll get out of him, but of course, uh, when he's the, the best, he's one of the best nominees in the world at the moment. Last one for Laurie Whitwell. Hey, Ganali. Um, the, this match was um, the subject of interest from Liverpool supporters for how it would go, obviously with their situation with the Champions League. Are you brace for any kind of uh, reaction from them, from Jurgen Klopp, for this the sort of team that you picked and, and the fact that that makes their job of getting in the Champions League a bit more difficult, the result tonight? My job so Man United, and I'm uh, my um, concern is the Man United fans, what they think about my team, what they want from my team, and that we come together as as one and show what Man United is. Thank you very much, everyone.